Hi, my name is Cooper Zimmer, and my speech is on why yawning is contagious. Have you ever been in a public space and seen someone yawn? I sure have. There's scientific research that shows that your brain reacts to other people's yawns. Today, I'm going to tell you why yawning is contagious. First, I'm going to tell you why you yawn. Yawning is a communicative function involved in the transmission of drowsiness, boredom, or stress. There's a theory that says when humans are tired, we stop taking deep breaths, which causes buildup of carbon dioxide in the body. There's also a study that says the purpose of yawning is to cool the brain. Yawning is, also, yawning is said to help with alertness, so stressed people or athletes yawn before an event that requires a lot of alertness. Now I'm gonna tell you why yawning is contagious. Yawning can be triggered by reading, seeing, hearing, or thinking about people yawning. Some scientists say that yawning is the effect of social mirroring, which is the action where people imitate the action of others. Now I'm gonna tell you about what part of the brain gets affected by yawning. The part of the brain that plays an important role in yawning is the hypothalamus, which is that part right there in the middle. Research has shown that some neurotransmitters and neuropeptides increase yawning if injected into the hypothalamus of humans and animals. The nerves in your face that are used to yawn are your cranial nerves 5, 7, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Cervical nerves C1 through C4 and the dorsal nerves interviewing and internervating with the intercoastals or accessory breathing muscles. The ages that yawn the most are the ages that yawn the most. Psychologists at the University of Connecticut studied more than 120 kids aging from ages one through six. Researchers would read a story to the kid and every two or so minutes, they would yawn. Fewer than 10% of the kids younger than four yawn, and then they did the same study with the older kids. 35 to 40% of those kids yawned. Now I'm gonna show you a couple pictures of people yawning, and now, how many of you guys yawn? Two out of three? not bad. So in conclusion, yawning is contagious because if you see, hear, or read about someone yawning, it makes you feel like you need to yawn. You yawn because you're bored, tired, or stressed.